everybody! Today I'm coming with a new update from Pen Tomato Farm. Uh, here in the glass house on the other side we've got out our melon and the watermelon. They grow so nice. You, we had a video earlier on in the year where you see how the, we've been planting them little small like this. Look at them now. Chris is here as well. He's going to help me to ascertain the varieties because he knows much more about the melons and uh, what he planted actually. And I'm gonna ask him to just tell you a little bit about our melons Good here. Good morning, Chris. Good morning and welcome to Fen Tomato Farm. The melons you can see are growing quite rapidly. We have uh, five types of melon <clears throat> growing here. Uh, first one just inside here is a Galia melon. The plants uh, start to grow and the melons appear on the laterals. So if you look here you've got your main stems coming away from the plant. One, two, three, four, five branches and then from that main branch you then start to get sublaterals and that's where your melons will start. This one is a Galia melon. It's about half grown I would think at the moment and as it grows bigger the skin goes like crazy paving all little uh, tiny cracks all over the external part of the skin and then it'll change from green to yellow and when it turns yellow then it's ripe and ready. So there's another one just here, you can see. So many flowers on here I see, wow. You can see there that the laterals are all starting to spread out. Yes, If we Absolutely. just move to the next bay, you'll see that we have here this variety is called a tiger melon. <laughs> this is a little smaller than the other ones. Uh, white fleshed when it uh, is ready for harvest, where the Galia melon is more of a yellowy fleshed melon. Uh, but this one turns brown on the outside, so you have the lovely mottling of the outside skin on the brownness but that's why they call it a tiger melon because it has the stripes like a tiger. That's very, very nice, very sweet. We then have over here uh, cantaloupe melons. These uh, cantaloupe, uh, no, this one's a Galia melon. This is the second uh, type of Galia melon we have, if you can see. This has got more mottling, more patterns on the actual fruits. And there's, look, one, two, three, four fruits there, straight away. Many, many more coming. Wow. So you can see straight away that there'll be a lot of melons. If I just open this up here a little bit and walk through here. This melon here, this one is cantaloupe. And again, you can see that there's melon here. And these um, are an orange flesh melon. And we found with experience that when we have the orange flesh melon, you can uh, have to cut the melon first and let that one ripen up for a week or 10 days before it is truly ready. We tried in the initial years to ripen the melons on the plant. It doesn't work, they, they split open. And when they split open, then we get all flies and they're all gone. So uh, that's some of the experience that we have. The other one that we have, uh, two more varieties, is the watermelon. This bay here is all full of watermelons but there are many type of watermelons so they start little pollinated melons like that and then they end up 
some of them being round and being uh, about two, three kilos. But this little chappy here, this will end up somewhere between 12 to 15 kilos. And you see there's another one just there and they're starting to get pollinated and uh, starting to uh, come along. There's another one there, look. So there'll be quite a few melons. The other watermelon down here. Whoa. You've got some little ones. Yes, there's a check of that. If you want to see watermelon in the stages, so you have the flowers, then when it's pollinated, you've got a little watermelon underneath there, little thing, and then you've got him here which wow. is starting to grow there. So you've got the three stages all there together. Wow, that's lovely. From the flower to the little watermelon to a little bit bigger and then much bigger watermelon here. That's lovely picture. Fantastic. The other watermelons are round. They are uh, different varieties. You've got two varieties of watermelon we've no, got. we've got four varieties of watermelon. Watermelon? Four? Four varieties of watermelon, but okay. it's like just as watermelon as a category. And I'm looking for the round ones at the moment. So you have found a round, a round one? Yes. So here we have uh, a different type of melon, watermelon. It's round and you can see that it's totally different in colour and contrast to this one. Yeah, they're much, much different. And there's some which are uh, a round ball, some which are oval, and they're all got their own characters, but there is four varieties of watermelon. Mm -hmm. The last one that we have here, and we'll just go down to the other end of the patch, and that's called Lady Jane. Lady Jane, so let's go and see Lady Jane. Wow, so this is the Lady Jane. So here Jane. we are in Lady Jane. Uh, this two bays here, this area here. I uh, can see quite a few in that second bay as well starting. But the flowers that uh, are all opening and coming out and the insects pollinating them is uh, quite a lot. So if we look here, Lady Jane, that's a totally, totally different melon. This is a green flesh melon and it's green smooth skin on the outside but the flesh it's a honeydew and it's with really succulent and there's another one just there there's a little one there just starting there's another one there just starting uh, and there's another one there just starting. This one? They, yes, there, there's masses coming here. Look, you can see them all just starting. And so, with, uh, with having, let's move these leaves out of the way. And you can see that one there, that one in there. These are really succulent, green-fleshed, honeydew melons. So that's the five melons that we have. But, uh, but this one look different. It's just, still, it's just still slight, a... Just slightly. That's not a lady jack. No? No, that's a, an emerald melon. Oh, so that's an emerald. That's because another the one. skin is yeah. looking different. Yes, so that's the sixth one that I have. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. There's six types. I thought I had five, but in actual fact <laughs> there's six. You discovered and you can one. you can see here now just remember this one here you can see this with the ribs down and this will be dark green and it's what we call an emerald melon emerald yeah and that will be yellow fleshed and that quite will... a few as well this yes one. oh yeah because look if you look through just there look yes yes look, yes i see look, that yeah, look at them yes. there. and they're all coming so they're, like this they're little... coming quite prolific yeah quite fantastic prolific. Okay, so there we are, melons starting to form. Uh, I should think within three, maybe four weeks, we should be harvesting the first melons. 
somewhere around at the end of August, first week of September. So uh, hopefully if you're on the stall or come to the farm shop, you'll sample some of the nicest melons that you'll ever have and they'll be from Fen Tomato Farm. Grown in England. Thank you, Chris. Bye now. Bye. So that's it for today. I've updated you with the new things on the farm, what's going on. I've been wanting to update you with the watermelon, but I showed you when they were small, small planted, and now they actually have the fruits and look fantastic. See you next time, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us if it's you're not subscribed yet, and uh, put the thumbs up. Thank you very much for now. Ta-ta!